Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to discuss the runaway slave. Now, that's, a, I mean, I'm not making light of the fact that um, African Americans, some indigenous people, some Mexicans, other people, uh, Chinese, uh, other people in history have been slaves, Egyptians, Throughout, throughout history, we've had slaves, guys. So I'm not making light of the torture, torment, abuse, violence of slavery. Not one bit. I am not making light of it one bit, guys. It's serious. It's a serious. It was a serious. Um. It was a serious evil committed against humanity yeah, it really was I mean it was one of the greatest holocausts in, in, you know in, in, in the last thousand years you know uh, for a people to be stripped from their homeland whether they were kidnapped or sold uh, stripped of their language and culture and beat by absolute brutal force and into a submissive system of hell and evil and then forced to participate in a religion they had never heard of so I'm not making light of it guys but the reason I'm saying it, it, saying it like that is because this is how serious it is when it comes to modern day slavery and how capitalism is stripping you away from nature. How corporate greed is stripping your soul away from you, stripping you away from the universe, stripping you of your identity. Like you really don't even know who you are. Stripping you of social media is stripping you of your identity uh, as an individual, as a human being, as a citizen, as a gift from nature, as a unique individual from the universe. The matrix is stripping all of that from you and turning you into a identity slave. What is an identity slave? An identity slave is a slave that have to have an identity with corporate America, with the program, with the system in order to be validated. That's what an identity slave is. Everybody wants validation. And they know that in order to get the validation, you have to participate in the program. And you have to strip your own identity as an individual. And you have to be, become a part of the team. It don't matter which team it is. You have to be a part of some team in order to form your identity. It don't matter if it's the gun club team, the makeup club team, the, the, the tennis shoe club team, the fashion team, the sports team, the car team, the, 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 the drug team. The, it don't matter. You have to be a part of some, the minimalist team. You have to be a part of some team to have an identity. See? And that's and, 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 and in order to be a part of that team, you have to work your ass off and spend lots of money on makeup, shoes, jewelry, watches, hats, clothes, uh, um, 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 houses, uh, um, um, luxury items, uh, vacations, cruises, uh, um, spa spa treatments. You always have to spend money in order to be on these teams. And that's why I'm talking about escaping 
those plantations, the identity slave must escape those teams and free your mind of being, of being, free your mind of having to submit to being a consumer, a gluttonous, a greedy savage for validation. See, see, when you're seeking validation at any cost, you will do anything to anybody to pursue that validation. You will lie, you will cheat, you will commit fraud, you will steal, you will manipulate, you will gaslight, you will hurt, harm, lie, kill, and steal. Guys, you'll do anything to be validated on one of these teams. And a lot of people want to be on several teams. They want to be on the they want to be on the on the misogynist team. Or they want to be on the feminist team. Or they want to be on the gender team. They want to be on, on multiple teams. And they have to juggle all these balls. And I, I tell you that. They got to juggle all these knives. Because they gotta keep a whole a whole an entire kitchen ware of knives to stab people in the back. They gotta they, they have to wear all these masks. And juggle, all, and juggle all these knives. And you don't know who you're meeting these days. These people wear so many masks and they have so many knives that you don't know who you're meeting or, or when they're going to stab you in the back. Some of them might stab you in, in your chest. That's how bad it is. So that's what I'm saying. When you, when you escape the corporate plantation and escape being an identity slave, then you can grow as an individual. You can mature. You, be, you can become emotionally mature and emotionally aware of the manipulation of social media, of society, all of the institutions, schools, college, religion, work the work environment. All of these are institutions. That, that you want to identify with Whether you want to identify with With a fraternity or sorority That's, that's an identity slave Whether you are, want to identify with a university Or a sports team That's an identity slave You got to pay fees You got to pay initiation To be a part of this identity You, got, you have to spend money like all associations and groups, you got to spend money in these to be a, a part of a sorority or fraternity. It costs money to be a part of those groups. It costs money to be, be, a, be a part of the sports team. You going by the, you know, you going by the hat. You you going by the clothes. You going to get the sports package on ESPN on, on, on YouTube. You know whatever. You got you got to buy tickets to go to the the, the team. People got you got to be uh, um, people want to be on a on a on a on a, on a sink on a, a artist on her team. You want to be a uh, uh, on the Beehive with 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 Queen B or Nicki Minaj or you know whatever. Ice Spice. You want to be a dope boy. You want you, you got to be on somebody's team, guys. And see, that's what, that's what the problem is. And like I said before, that's why you can't trust anybody. Because people will do anything to identify with these teams. They, they will stab you in the back if you say something against their team. You speak against Nicki Minaj. You speak against Beyonce. You speak against St um, 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 Megan Thee Stallion. You speak against Jay-Z, McMill, whoever, Kanye West, whoever, Eminem, whoever. And they team coming at you. See? So then that's the problem, guys. So for those individuals who are trying to escape the identity of the slaves, trying to get off the plantation, trying to get out, out of corporate America, so you won't sell your soul to corporate America, to the matrix. A lot of you, like I said before, are renting your soul to the matrix. But your soul is still getting worn down. Would you, you know, it's just like a rent. It's just like buying a rented car. 
the car is getting worn out because everybody drives differently and abusively. Nobody cares about a rental car. They drive hard, they brake hard, they turn corners hard. They don't care about a rental car. They slam the doors, spill stuff in the rental car. They, they do whatever. No one cares about a rental car. See? So if you're renting your soul to the, to the matrix, if you're renting your mind to the matrix, the matrix don't care nothing about you. It's going to grind you. It's going to ride you hard. It's going to work you hard. Just like they used to work the slaves in the sugarcane fields in the Caribbeans. They worked them till they died. Worked them to death. Same with now. It's the same thing. Modern day slaves are the same thing, guys. They want to work you to death. And then they want to give you a, a, a small social security check at the end. And then they tax that. They take taxes out of your social security check, guys. Why? You work 30, 40, 50 years. You got to pay all these taxes. You know why? Because those taxes that you pay go straight to your oppressor to oppress your children. You're funding your children's future enslavement. When you pay all those taxes, you work all those hours, the more you work, the more you're taxed. That's a fact. The more you work, the more you're taxed. Financially and physically. So guys, don't be afraid. Of being a runaway slave. Do, don't be afraid. Wear that, wear that on your shirt proudly. I may get some t-shirts made. On the front it says runaway slave. Because that was the main business. No, I, I'm, 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 I'm um, digressing. That was one of the main careers of police officers in the South. Before and after the Civil War Was the runaway slave patrol The runaway slave Why did they have a runaway slave patrol You know why Because the slaves were being brutalized They hated working Under those conditions And they had enough sense To know that this wasn't right. And they knew people were free in other areas. They had heard about it. Even though they couldn't read and write. They had heard about freedom. And they had enough sense to know. That they didn't want to live under those conditions. So they would rather die. Than be a slave. See guys. So you got to have that same mindset. You got to do whatever you got to do. To get off of the corporate plantation you have to educate yourself you got to learn how to read the financial maps back then it was the physical maps you had to learn you had to learn how to read i mean it was a small physical map. it wasn't i'm not talking about a, a sophisticated map i'm talking about but they they there, there were there were signs and wonders that the slaves used to escape they followed the north star they followed different routes they had been um, established by other slaves that escaped. They had abolitionists that helped them uh, escape um, slavery. A lot of them were white people. So I'm not saying all white people were were willing, were, were, were active participants in slavery. A lot of them were forced to participate in the slavery also because they was born into it also. Just like the blacks were born into slavery as slaves, the whites was born into slavery also, but they just weren't slaves. But they was born into a slave system, a culture of abuse and violence. See? So it's just like it's just like a prison guard. 
He's in prison too for eight, ten hours a day. Yes, he had freedom to leave, but he is behind bars for eight to ten hours a day. And he got to leave and he have to come back and be behind bars every single day for 10 or 20 years. So believe it or not, guys, prison guards spend more time in prison than prisoners. Because a prison may be in jail for five years straight. He get out, he go live the rest of his life. Or 10 years straight, he get out, he go live the rest of his life. But a prison guard may spend 20 years as a prison guard. So he did more time collectively, I mean, chron chron you know, chronologically, you know, what have you said, than the actual prisoner. See, so guys, so guys, so like I say, whites were also born into slavery, the system, the slavery system, and there are some of them knew it was wrong, and some of them helped help the slaves escape. And then I guess in today's and today they would be called um, whistleblowers. See? In the corporate America, in the Matrix, they hate whistleblowers. They hate for people to know the truth about their shenanigans and their BS and their abuse and their lying and cheating. People, hate, yeah, yeah, the Matrix hate that. So guys, the purpose of this message is to let you know that it's okay to be a runaway slave. Whether you're black, white, Asian, native, it's okay. And for the new migrants that's coming over here to take the to be the new slaves, they're gonna have to learn for themselves. They're gonna have to learn for themselves. It's, it's, it, I mean, because if you are already trying to but they they come to take your spot. You have to prepare your exit plan and let them have it, guys. Let them have the plantations. Let them have, let them have the abuse. Let them work for less. While you plan your exit plan with your financial roadmap, you have to invest all of your slave earnings. You got to invest it in a new vehicle so you can drive away from slavery and and work your way completely out of the system whether you have to do temporary work seasonal work whatever it is you got to work your way out of the system and one of the main things that you're going to have to do as you come off the plantation is learn how to eat right and learn how to think right because while you're on the plantation you had no control over what you ate and how you thought Because you didn't have time to think because you was too busy being brutalized and working from sun up to sun down. You didn't have time to think. So one of the things that you're going to have to learn how to do as a free person, as a runaway slave, is to think for yourself. And eat right. Because you, you've been eating bad your whole life. So you got to eat right. Clean up your diet. Exercise. Clean up your mind and focus. Think right. Think positive. Think productive. Think beneficial. Think righteously. I know it's going to be hard coming from a brutal system of, 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 of brutality and violence. It's going to be difficult. But with the right motivation, with the right connection with the universe, with the right patience and peace, the universe will give you the downloads to forgive your abusers. Because the last one of the last things that Jesus said before he died on the cross was, Forgive them, Lord, because they know not what they do. And you just gotta leave it at that, guys. Okay, guys, until next time, guys, remember to keep your life clean, keep your car clean, keep your mind clean, keep your body clean, keep your diet, your body. Keep your diet clean, guys. Drink plenty of spring water to flush out the toxins, the chemicals, and the poisons in the food supply, guys. Remember, remember to download and deploy your anti-myovirus software. Debug and unplug from the matrix, guys. Guys, if nothing else, guys, work on your exit plan financially and physically. Invest your money, guys. Guys, get if you like like when well, like back in the day, I'm gonna say this I'm gonna say this real fast. Like back in the day, 
the number one investment that a person had back then was a horse. A horse was valuable in the 1800s, 1700s, 1600s. Yeah, it was valuable because you can ride away. You can get the hell on on a horse. So people took care of their horses. It was highly valuable, highly sought after. You know? So the same thing applied today with a vehicle. Buy the most reliable, newest vehicle with a warranty that you can afford. So it'll be yours to get to move around, move about, and go and work where you want to work. Whether you want to work in Florida, Texas, Montana, Colorado, Arizona, California, wherever you want to work, you can you, you have a very reliable vehicle, get a warranty. Cause that's gonna be your lifeline. Don't try to hold on to an apartment, because that's not yours. You're trying to hold on to something that don't belong to you. Invest all your time and money in the, into the thing that's going to that's going to belong to you, and it's going to transport you psychologically and physically to other dimensions, other lifestyles. Guys, do not try to hold on to something that does not belong to you. An apartment, or even a job, for that matter, or in, or an individual, for that matter. The person don't belong to you. The job don't belong to you. That apartment don't belong to you. Guys, you, you might have to let it go. Every, you know, mo these things are temporary, guys. You can't hold on to this stuff at the at the expense of your 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 sanctity and your freedom. You think the slaves want to hold on to the slave cabins? No. Didn't they want to hold on to the food that was left at the slave plantation? The clothes they had left? No. They, they, they escaped with the clothes on their back. And they were barefooted. They had a biscuit and a potato in their pocket. They were barefooted, half naked, and starving and hungry. They got the hell on. Okay, guys? So, guys. Take your life as serious as necessary. Do what you have to do. Until next time, guys, I'm Contraband777, and I'm signing off. Peace.